Once the rebar is already placed, you can still go back and modify its placement or modify the way it displays. Now, currently I'm inside of a section view, and in this case it happens to be section number one, and we can go ahead and zoom in here. What we're seeing here is this is a piece of rebar, and these are three individual pieces of rebar. And they're currently stretching the length of this entire either footing or wall, depending on what it is that it's going through. What we can do is if we want to change the way it displays so that we can see the thickness of the rebar, we can come down here to where it has the detail level. Currently it's set at a coarse level of detail. And whenever you have rebar in a coarse level of detail, it'll always display as being just line work. Well, if we change it and say this should be a fine level of detail, we can now see this rebar is nice and three-dimensional. Now, technically, this is as well. The only thing is, is that we were already kind of looking at it straight on. And it was just sort of a dark donut, and that just didn't change in this particular display. It is now a solid donut as opposed to just some thick line work. The next thing that we can do is I can zoom out just a little bit, and I want to point out that even though this was already put in place and the shape had already been set, if we wanted to change the shape of it, we can. And in order to do that, we can just come over here to Shape, either underneath Properties or up here on the Options bar, and then change it to be well, perhaps a different shape. Maybe we want it to be this 0-1 shape. Now we'll go ahead and just move your mouse over into here or click on Apply, and you can see it's automatically tried to take on the shape that's associated with that 0-1 piece of rebar. Now, if we wanted to change it back to that 17A, we can. We just move up here, click on 17A, and we watch it sort of bounce its way back up again. Now, one thing that you'll notice that just happened is that it doesn't automatically take on the properties it had before. You still might need to stretch and adjust and move it after you've made that shape change, if you ever need to do that. And that's still easy enough to do. You can just click on the grip and then pull it back or pull it forward by just holding your mouse button down on that little circular shape. Also, if we need to be able to bring this up, we can select on the little circle and bring it up to uh, right about there. So now we've been able to adjust the shape and be able to make some of these adjustments right here inside of a section view. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this in 3D. So come up here to the little 3D house, select on the 3D house. We'll zoom in here. Now I'm going to rotate this around by just holding down the shift key on my keyboard and the wheel on the mouse. And then I'm going to zoom in here. And perhaps I don't want this to stretch this entire length of the wall. Maybe I want to actually come in between, and I'll just call these these two piers or these two columns. So if I want to do that, I can move over here, and I'm just going to click right here on this face of the view cube. And that'll automatically spin us around to be looking at this building from that elevation view. Next, I'm going to zoom in here, and then just select on that rebar. Now it gets to be pretty easy. We can just click on the little arrows and we can pull this back and we can move this to wherever it is we wanna be able to move this to. Now it's still staying contained within the wall, but we just have the adjustment ability to be able to say, it needs to be between this location and this location. Whenever it's all said and done, we can just sort of click off of it. And if we wanna view this once again in a true three-dimensional view, technically we already are, but we're looking at it face on. So we'll just click one of the corners of the view cube here, let the model automatically regenerate itself, and then we can zoom in and we can now see it's adjusted itself three-dimensionally, so now it's in between those two piers that we wanted to bring it between. So all we have to remember is that modifying the properties or the placement of rebar after it's been placed is fairly easy to accomplish. All we need to do is either be in a section view or be in a 3D view, and then we can adjust its properties appropriately.